myself right now. I don't wanna lay low, hiding in the shadows. So I wake up, I get out of bed, stay up, stay out of my head, it's dangerous. And I don't wanna lose my mind, no.
who you are. You sin. But without other people, you'd be nothing. You're still hung up in that diseased way of thinking. Hyper capital, zombification, a blunt imagination, a soul funk of deep proportions. You were born into it, and it's all you've ever known. Everybody against everybody else. That's your mentality. Everybody against everybody else. That's your mentality. And we know where that leads to. The crowd is fired up. Let the chirps begin. He's Ray. I'm James, ready to bring you all the action. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Penguins start with possession as we are now underway. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. Big time save on the one-timer. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck off the draw. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. The Bruins take it across the line. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it to Latang. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work he had done on the power play would help them capitalize. You do a nice job there. Pittsburgh's made their way back to set a race here, and they've got that one nothing lead. The road is a funny place to play. You can't really be too aggressive, but when you get an early lead, James, you can open it up a little bit. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Moves the puck. Dished on over to Shiri. They've got the defense outnumbered. Easy peasy right there by Rask. Rask has taken over the goaltending position in Boston for some time now. That's a really nice save. Rips it, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Scoops up the puck in front of the net, trying to clear the zone. Drives it to the front of the net. Makes the save. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Boston's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Rips it from the point. Absolutely levels them. Boston's got it in their own zone. It's a two-on-one. Sends it over. Stones him in front. Big stop by the keeper. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Pedersen's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Hornquist. Handles the puck. Mulkin's got it against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Johnson. Puck grabbed by Johnson. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Up along the wing. Wrists one, and that shot gets caught in traffic. Now a quick pass to Johnson. Picked up along the wall by Simo. Takes the feed. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. 
Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. And now it's grabbed by Johnson. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Angles it over to DeBrus. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. The turnover. Here they come. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Pedersen's got the puck in his own zone. Tries to feed it over to Corrali. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. From the point, looks to make something happen. And now he angles it across to Aston Reese. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one. But, hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. More than half the frame has been played here. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Puck picked up by Pedersen. Feeds it down low. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Into the offensive end now. Nordstrom's got the puck. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Pass stolen in the open ice. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Grizzly. And not much on that one. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gensel. Takes that pass back at the point. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And now it's over to Dumoulin. Dumoulin's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Gensel. They've got numbers. And it's a quick pass to Dumoulin. Moves it quickly over to Dumoulin. Handles the pass from the right side. Great hit on the play. Move to the middle. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. And that wraps up the first period here. A lone goal is the difference so far through the first 20. It's a 1-0 game. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Boston's got to find another gear or two or three here. They've been behind almost all night. They haven't had the puck very much. As a result, they're behind on the board as well. Pittsburgh's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Zucker's got it into offensive territory. Centering pass, and that's broken up. Pass to Bergeron. Moves it to Marchand. Here's the pass. Denied by the goaltender. Can't connect. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Krejci's won the draw here in the offensive zone. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Carries it in. Moves the puck along the half wall. With the one-timer, comes up with a stop. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Slides the puck over. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Tic-tac, kaboom. The puck blows up off his stick. He's in a position to do something better with it than that. Sends the pass over. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Boston's got possession here in the neutral zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And now he tries to get it across to Hornquist. Great pressure forcing a turnover. Grabbed along the board by Hornquist. Stopped with ease. And now he passes up to Coyle. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Chara's carrying it ahead. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. DeBrusque's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Too late to the player. Once the puck's gone, you gotta let him skate. McCann's won the draw. 
Gets it to the other point. Hammers it on net. Comes up with a big stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 1-0 the score. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Zucker's got it in the offensive zone. Let's it go! And it gets nowhere near the net, blocked on the play. And now he moves it to Latang. Slides the puck across to McCann. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Sherry's got it along the wing. Hammers one from the point. Makes the save. Here's a short pass to Moore. Takes the feed. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Here they come on the attack. Penalty has expired. He scores! The SoCal Kid delivers Jason Zucker! That's a quick one-timer. Right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Bergeron. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Crosby. Moves it on over to Zucker. With possession along the wall. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Marchand's lugging the puck. Quick pass to Dumoulin. Slides the puck over to Schultz. Pass across to Sheary. Puts it up front. Quick shot. He scores! Well, he'll take that bounce as it goes off the skate of the defender. The Penguins have been lighting the lamp all night, and they continue to do so here. It doesn't always work like this, but they've had the puck the whole time, and they've scored the whole time. It has been a one-sided affair. Passes on over to McAvoy. Carries it across the line. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Takes the pass. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. He's got to read the scene much better than that. You're already ahead in the game. Don't... Oh, look at that. Here we go. we got a penalty coming up right here. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the pocket. He gets his stick caught in their feet. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Tennis getting called for two minutes here by the officials. It's a tough penalty to take. You're trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, you pull his feet out. you got to go to the penalty box. And manages to clear the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Coyle swooping in on the attack. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Knocked away. Here's the official call. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. Another chance here on the man advantage. With such a long five-on-three power play in front of them, they can afford to be patient. Don't take the first shot. Take the best shot. Quick shot. He scores. Even under man, they deliver. Yeah, it's a sloppy play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive. They get up the ice and are able to score while down a man. Pittsburgh's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. And he comes up with it. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Receives the pass. Slides it across. Right up front. Here's a chance on the backhand. Comes up with the stop. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Skates in behind the cage. In the second period. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. And that one stopped. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. They've totally controlled the puck here on this shift. Now they've worn the opposition down. Eventually, you get a scoring chance or they take a penalty. 
backhander stopped by the goaltender. Goalie plays it up. Horn sounds to end the second period. It's been a spanking thus far. 4 nothing is where we sit after 40. Hey fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which we'll give away before the end of tonight's game. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Pittsburgh's penalty killers welcome that intermission and they get things going on the right note, winning the draw. The power play looking anything but as they give up a shorthanded goal with both teams back now at even strength. Trying to gain a step. All alone. Flips it across. Off the post. Chara stick handling in his own zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Big time stop there. Really good save. Control the rebound. Get it into the corner where you can reestablish yourself. And we've got a two-on-one. Sends it across. Wow. Scores! Brad Marchand! The Bruins still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the oh, end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Score. Score by number Moves around along the half wall. Centering pass. Scores! What a shot! Hard to get a buck quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. Buckle up, everybody. We're not done yet. Wow, they've got some energy now. Pittsburgh's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. Musa quickly over to Dumoulin. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck and makes the save. Moose to Kasha, levels them with the hit. Great poke check on the reach. Oh, and they go back on offense. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Moves it up through the middle for the right. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Carlos off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up flipping the guy down. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle from referee Gilles Levesque, and a penalty coming up that'll do it for the power play. Officials calling tripping here on this one. This was the penalty I think when I took, I was most angry at myself because you're not trying to do it, and then all of a sudden you see the guy go down, and you're just like, oh, man, here I go. There's the result. Seconds. Moves the puck over to McAvoy. And now he angles it across to Bergeron. Boston's ready to go on the attack. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Johnson. Boston's got possession at center. The Penguins have it from their own end. Quick feed to Johnson. Sends a pass over. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Quick pass to Johnson. Boston's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McAvoy. Taken by McCann. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? For tripping, time of the penalty. Puts it on net, and that's blocked with the stop. The Penguins come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Crosby. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. An opportunity for some power play time now as he steps back out onto the ice. Pittsburgh's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. 
Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Pedersen. Wow. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. Pittsburgh's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forecheck. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Picks off the feed. The coach won't be very happy there. You want to make safe plays when you're in front. Nice pass. Into the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Looks to make a play over to Zucker. Boston's got the puck. Tosses it to Richie. Dishes it to Kasha. Pittsburgh's grabbed a hold of the puck. Moves the puck. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Blast from the blue line. Can't get it to go. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. Charging the call on the hit. Maybe a little too much aggression there. Yeah, he had it on a beeline right towards him. Does not turn, does not slow down. When he makes the hit, the referee's arm goes up immediately. Takes the feet at the back end. And a great save! Takes it from the other side of the blue line. That's blocked. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Looks to pass it to Rust. Handles the puck. Oh, what a glove save! And that's broken up. Takes the feed. With some momentum driving towards the net. And that one's turned away. Takes it across the blue line. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Morris taking it from his own end. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. And makes the save. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. Dishes it to McCann. Wrist shot from the slot. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. Pittsburgh's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. He scores! Evgeny Malkin! That shot just overpowered him, I guess. He stopped most of it. It just trickled through and rolled into the net. Pittsburgh's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Ahead of steam now towards the front and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And now it's over to Rust. Look out, a two on one. And he elects to play the puck. Moves it quickly over to DeBrusque. Move to the middle. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Pittsburgh's got control of the puck. Comes up with the stop. Moves it to DeBrusque. And he regains control of the puck. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a one-sided affair. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Scores! Quick blast! No chance! The Bruins have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scores out there, and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Score by number 88. On the attack along the boards. Here's a short pass to Richie. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Quick feed to McAvoy. Richie's got it on the offensive end. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. Quick pass to Krejci. Puts it to the front of the net. Stopped by the blocker. That is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. 
off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. Moves the puck up to Hornquist. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Schultz. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Moves the puck across to McCann. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Every once in a while, everything comes together for a complete victory. And I felt that's what happened tonight. They had the puck. They shot the puck. They got it back. They shot it again. Really a dominating performance. You know, I know people like to point the finger at goaltenders when they give up lots of goals. But in this case, it's hard to blame him with the amount of offense that he was seeing there. Well, there's no way he's going to be able to hold the door shut. That was domination. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski, ready to bring you all the action here tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Penguins take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Tip shot and misses on the tip. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. And he slides it quickly to Shiri. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Drives it to the front of the net. He scores! Patrice Bergeron comes through! I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Crosby's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Shiri. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Richie's got it in the defensive end. Kasha's got it across the line. To his teammate, right in the slot. Turns it away. Big save by the goaltender once again. His first Stanley Cup, Matt Murray had the benefit of Marc-Andre Fleury behind him. Not so after that, and he still did the job. Slides the puck over. Here's an odd man rush. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Knocked off the puck. Boston's got it now. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Over the line they come. Into the corner of the attacking out. So as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a blast! Great glove save! Through center along the wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And that pass is stolen. Slides the puck to Rust. Sends the pass over. McCann's going to play it against the half wall. And that's blocked away. Almost lost the puck, but Hank scores! We're all tied up! And now their bench has a little bit of relief as they've evened up the score. 
I always have zero sympathy for the goalie. That's a tough break. Bad break for him, you bet. But the puck goes into the net after somehow it's funneled that way and it bounces around into the cage. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Scored by number 19. Puck dumped in. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Hornquist got it into offensive territory. Great defensive stick work on the play. Chara's got the puck in his own zone. Corrales picking up momentum through center. Sends it over. Glove save. Quick reflexes. Murray's so sharp on this. Reads the play, reads the puck, makes the save. Here's a short pass to Wagner. Denied by the goaltender. I like the way he tracks the puck. Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. Boston's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Puck grabbed by Johnson. By number 20, Joachim Nordstrom. Takes the feed. Blocked in front. Slides it over to Marchand. Sean Corrales. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Quick feed to Krug. Tries to get it to Pasternak. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Aston Reese looks around. And that's picked off in front. Bergeron's got the puck along the wing. Here's the pass. And that's taken by the defense. Carries it in. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. The Bruins have it against the wall. Krug's moving the puck through his own zone. Nice bank pass off the boards. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Crosby's called for tripping. He's off to the box. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. Forces the turnover and comes up with the puck. McAvoy's lugging the puck. Feeds the puck to Krejci. Richie's got it deep in the offensive end. Takes the bank feed. Right out front. And there's the save. Pedersen's gaining momentum. It's a two-on-one. Rister, that goes off a twig. Takes the feed at the point. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. In all alone on the breakaway. Oh, what a play with the poke check. I thought this was a pretty good move, but the poke check came out quickly and swept the puck away. Slides the puck ahead to McCann. And a beautiful stop by the glove. The Bruins' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Along the half wall with the puck. Picked up along the boards by Grislyk. Marchand stick handling in his own zone. Now he slides it up to McAvoy. And that pass is intercepted. Gets in front of it. That's not even a rebound anymore. It's like a cleared puck. Off the goalie and into the corner is a safe place. Pasternak's carrying it ahead. Pasternak's got it in the corner. Gets the puck back onto his stick. Scores! Brad Marchand! This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here. Late goings of this period. Boston's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Not a bad look as there's some open ice. He turns it over, though. Boston's got the puck. Works it across to DeBrusk. Big hit. Pittsburgh's gained possession. Quick pass to McCann. With the stop. Wait, they're signaling a goal. It, it, it looked like he had it, but it looks like they're signaling a goal. That's about as lucky as you can get. You need some puck luck most of the time to win. There's a good chunk of it. Boston's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. 
Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And that one stole at center ice. Big time play right there. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And now it's grabbed by Corrali. Here they are on the attack. Slides it up front. And he makes the save. Still to come in period number two. Lots of action on the ice. And up in the broadcast booth, business will pick up. The iconic Snoop Dogg will join us here. Ray Ferraro down at ringside. James Sabalski up here in the broadcast booth. And what a treat we've got right here. The one, the only. Snoop Dogg is in the his house. Can I say that? Oh, yeah, you can say that, big game, James. You know what it is, baby. How you doing? I'm slow motion. If you were commissioner for a day, what would you do? I would make all hockey games start off with some hip-hop music. I would have a great halftime performance. And the games would be more interactive as far as finding ways to put the people involved. Not put them on the ice, but just make it more about the people. Like, when I watch other sports, I feel like the fans are more involved. So finding ways to create ways to make it all about everybody involved. The players, the fans, and the people watching at home. Like how? Just put some Snoop on it, you know? That's what I do. I can get down with that. Yes, sir. Boston's got it from behind the net. And the pulp check. Oh, smart play. Slides it across to Latang. Stopped by the goaltender. And now he tries to get it across to Latang. The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Krejci's picking up steam. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Feeds it on over to Latang. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! Oh, what a beautiful glove save! Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. We're still in the early stages of this period. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Hammers a shot! Just wide! Takes the puck at the point. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Puck picked up by Rust. Has hockey had any sort of cultural impact on hip-hop? Oh, definitely. I mean, I started wearing hockey jerseys in my first videos, and um, people started catching on from there. And then it's like after that year after year, you would see people give me hockey jerseys when I would show up to towns that, you know, were hockey relevant, and I would wear them and represent them, and then hockey became a big thing in the hip-hop community. Do you remember the first jersey that you wore that really kind of made a statement? Maple Leafs, baby. Toronto. A Leafs jersey? Man, a Leafs jersey because it was blue and it had that leaf in the middle, if you know what I mean. Ah! You're all about pushing boundaries, creating an image. When you were a kid, how old were you when your first album dropped? Man, I was like maybe 19 years old. Okay, so a lot of young players around the NHL can appreciate that sort of vibe. For those guys that are kind of building their own brand right now, what do you say to them? Say, man, stay true to what you do and master your craft, you understand me? And go study the greats. If there's somebody that you love that was great, go study him and see what he did to become great and try to be greater. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but thanks for doing this. Do you want to hang out and watch the rest of the period with us? If you don't mind, I don't mind. I would love it. Well, let's do it, then. Let's, I'm fanboying out let's here. Let's kick it. Let's go, Jay. All right. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass over to Chara. Gets the puck over to Corelli. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that one's broken up. Boston's got control of the puck. Shot. Oh, drop the dime on him, man. Good wow. shot. Spectacular goal. Love it when they come together like that, man. That was smooth. Boston's offense delivers yet again. They now have a two-goal lead. They have dominated in this. They really have, and the key for them is not to look at the clock, but to keep playing the same way. They've done a really nice job dominating the majority of possession. And now he moves it to Kasha. Out front. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, no. He's I need that. I need that. That crossed the line. That's a goal. Go. The light is on. Yeah, light is on. Give me mine. Yes, 
to the broadcast He's so booth. lit. The Bruins have added yet another marker, and their fans are loving every minute of this. It's been domination, and now we're still in the second period. They've had the puck the whole time. They've done pretty much anything they've wanted to. This has not been a fair fight. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come on the attack. Slides it across. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Slides it on over to Rust. Throws it on goal. Dropper save. Boston's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Bergeron. Here's a chance. Sends it across. Marchand's got it to the side. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Zucker's got it against the boards. Oh, that was he big. Boston's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Slides the puck to Moore, and that's intercepted. Passes it over to Crosby. Moves it to Sheary. Puck scooped up by Latang. Now a quick pass to Jubilin. Stick save, just got a piece of it with that one. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there, a stick between the player's feet. Another power play opportunity coming up here. If you can find a way to get a power play goal here, you can change the momentum of this game. They haven't got one yet tonight. And you find yourself starting to press when you don't score. And now he angles it across to Pasternak. The Penguins gain control of it. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Slides the puck across to Tanev. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yep. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. Just wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. With possession along the wall. Pass back to the point. Takes the pass. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. Tripping is the call, and it's pretty cut and dry, it seems, Ray. Well, it's like you, you're you in position, then you're not. You reach out, you trip them up, and there's no way to get out of it now. Here's a short pass to McCann. What a steal in his own end. While they trail, he's trying to make something happen. Pittsburgh's got possession at center. The Bruins' man advantage is over. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Puck lands back onto a stick. And that's picked off in front. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marshawn. Big play inside the defensive zone. Big time stop with the glove. Dangerous spot in the slot. The goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Here in the later stages of this period, while fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. Takes control of the puck. Quick pass to Malkin. And that's broken up. Krejci's taking it from his own end. Quick feed to Krizlik. Krizlik's got the puck. Right to the middle. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the official decision. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets a stick into his feet. Down he goes. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Richie's sliding the puck behind the net. Oh, target! 
He is a treasure, everybody. The one and only Snoop Dogg. Third period action is coming up, and it's coming up next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Boston's power play gets back to work here as we are underway in the period. They win the draw. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And the puck departs the zone. Krug's got it in the defensive end. And it's a quick pass to Coyle. Pittsburgh's got the puck shorthanded. Picked off in the open ice. Carries it across the line. And he gets the puck right back. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. From the slot, fires away, and that's blocked! The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Bruins fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. And that one's broken up. Rask's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Moves it over to Nordstrom. Oh boy, here comes a three on one. Makes the save. Boston's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the puck near the front of the net. And he slides it quickly to Pedersen. Here's a chance! A rocker off the blocker! They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck... He scores! But don't turn this one off yet! Well, you better not. We're still here. If we're here, you gotta be here, too. He didn't waste any time. If he would have stopped that puck, the goalie would have had time to readjust. As it is, it's in the net. Pittsburgh's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Into the corner now. Move to the middle, and that one's blocked. Pedersen's got the puck in his own zone. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's picked off. Quick pass to Pasternak. And another stop. Scooped up along the wall by Zucker. And now he moves it quickly to Shiri. Receives the pass. And he gets a paddle on that one. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Now over to Shiri. Shuts him down. Taken by Crosby. Boston's grabbed a hold of the puck. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And look at this, a three on one. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. And that's broken up. Puck grabbed by Crosby. And now it's grabbed by Pasternak. Moves it over to Richie. They've got the defense outnumbered. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Moves. He scores! They tied it up! Brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this. And we're back to even Steven. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Penguins have evened things up in the late goings of this third period. Buckle up here, people. A lot of work to get back to square. Now they've got a chance late to pull this out. Dominic Samoa. And that one's broken up. Takes it across the blue line. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, here we go. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. 
passes the puck over to McCann. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. He's got a step. Denied by the goaltender. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Tripping is the call. Did he sell it or is that the right one in your mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. Pushes it across to Tanev. Takes the return feed. And we've got a two-on-one. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Richie's been nabbed for tripping. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Grabs control of it at the point. Crosby's got it in the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Slides it diagonally to DeBrusque. A chance in front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Pass taken behind the goal, and he slides it quickly to Gensel. And a great heads-up defensive play here. Pittsburgh's got it from behind the net. Slides it back to the blue line. Puck picked up by Carlo. And the always popular icing call made. And you know what that means, Ray? Now, offensive zone face off, man. He missed the play going down the ice. And that's a gimme icing. Now they can't change. You've got tired guys on the ice. Mulkins won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Johnson. Sends it over to Malkin. Moves it quickly over to Gensel. Puck scooped up by Carlo. Carlo's moving the puck through his own zone. And here's the pass to Marchand. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. McCann's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Zucker. Sherry's got it along the wing. Sends a pass over. And that's broken up. Taken by Nordstrom. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed and we are still tied. Oh, well, the power play will wrap up and they miss with a chance to score a really important power play goal. Locked in on that last opportunity there. Picked up along the wall by Pedersen. And now he tries to get it across to McCann. Here he is from the slot. Makes the glove stop. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Here in the late going to the frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. With the blast, standing tall with the save. And off the save, that one's redirected out of play. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Snaps it onto the net. Too much traffic in the lane. Puck grabbed by Nordstrom. Feeds the puck across to Latang. Nordstrom swooping in on the attack. Comes up with the stop. Takes the feed in a whole lot of trouble. Grabbed along the board by Tanev. Moves it to Wagner. And that's picked off in front. Slides the pass over to Tanev. Inside of the... He scores! They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. Well, the goaltender thinks...
thinks he's got the whole net covered. This beats him just inside the post. The Bruins need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. And now it's grabbed by Gensel. Tries to get it over to Rust. Reads the pass perfectly and takes it off. The Penguins have it against the wall. Dubalin's lugging the puck. Now a quick pass to Rust. Gensel's got it on the offensive end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Tosses it on to Malkin. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Boston's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Crosby's won the draw here in the open ice. Quick pass across to Johnson. They've got numbers. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Great stick work with the steal. Quick shot. Big time stop. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. This one seemed to be controlled right from the faceoff surface. Well, the strength of their team is up the middle of the ice, James. They're tough to match up against. They're all really good on the draw, and they had the puck a lot. All starts from when it hits the ice. zone. Chara's got it across the line. Puck picked up by Crosby. Quick feed to Sheary. And the puck skips away after that move. We used to call this the tic-tac kaboom. Nice move, but all of a sudden you don't have the puck. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. With some momentum driving towards the net, Pittsburgh's got possession here in the offensive zone. And that goes off a player. Moves the puck to McAvoy. Quick pass to Marshawn. Boston's got control. And they score on the board early here. What a disappointment for the home crowd as they get into their seats and already their home club is down one. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Shot redirected. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Tuka Rask's been a mainstay in Boston ever since coming in a trade from Toronto. It's an excellent stop there. Puck scooped up by Kasha. Stopped by the goaltender. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Has dropped and we are back underway. And he moves it up to Hornquist. And that's picked. 
picked off. Right up the gut. Here they go. Look out. Here's a 2 on 0 And he totally whiffs on that one. Oh, great defensive play. One thing to get back and break it up. Another not to take a penalty on the play. Here's a backhander. Over the net it goes. So quick he wants to deliver that puck. He's almost got it perfect, but it's too high. A little banging and crashing now. And they go back on the attack in the offensive zone. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Moore. Wrist one in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice feed from the goaltender. Over the line they come. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. He scores! Now you got to keep clawing back. Trailing in the game to get the equalizer. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's all tied up. Corrales won the draw. Moves it to Nordstrom. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Johnson's got it from behind his own net. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Let's see what the officials are calling. Nordstrom's going off for interference. He's got to keep his feet moving so he doesn't get called for interference. Pittsburgh's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. And instead of a whistle, it clears it away. Moves it to Corrali. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He looks like he's got a step, but then the puck just trickles off his stick. Now he's got to hunt it back down. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Kasha's got it into offensive territory. On oh, the doorstep, big stop by the goaltender. Huge desperation play. I don't think it has to look very good. You just have to stop it. That's what he does there. He's just flailing away, trying to make the save any way he can. Here's a shot, and that one's stopped. Boston's gained possession. Feeds the puck up to Nordstrom. Feeds the puck to Corrali. Look out, a two-on-one. And that one's broken up. Angles it over to Pedersen. And now he moves it to Malkin. Malkin stick handling in his own zone. And it's a quick pass to Hornquist. He let that one oh, go boy. after the whistle. Past the midway mark of the frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Sends it over to Gensel. And he slides it quickly to Rust. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate. Here's a chance right in front. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Picked up along the boards by Marchand. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Slides it to McAvoy. And now he angles it across to Bergeron. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Pushes it across to Latang. Nice pass. Ahead of steam now towards the front and makes the save. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Centering pass. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Here they come, three of them. Put it off the post. Moves the puck. along the wing carries it in great defensive play to come up with the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Johnson and now he moves it quickly to Aston Reese and he slides it quickly to Zucker scooped up along the wall by Moore centering pass and that one's broken up winding down the final minute of this opening frame here's a chance right out in front and they can't connect sends it quickly to Crosby and that pass is stolen. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. It's a three-on-one. Knocked away. Puck moved over to Richie. 
As the first period comes to an end, this one's still a dead heat. 1-1 is where we sit. Fans of portion of tonight's proceeds will fund a children's playroom at City Hospital, providing a safe, fun environment for kids. Second period set to get underway. And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Boston's got to get on their horse a little bit here, James. They really haven't generated much in the way of shots on goal yet. He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been level. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Bruins have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Now a quick pass to Latang. Drives it to the front of the net. Blocker save. Make the save. Help yourself out at the same time. Good stop, but the better part is that he gets the puck away from the front of the net. The Penguins look to start the transition game. And now it's over to Zucker. Here's a shot. Brilliant save. Read it perfectly. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Krejci's carrying it ahead. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds it over to Carlo. Krug's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Carlo. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Taken by Gensel. Puck grabbed by Gensel. And he passes it up ahead to Malkin. From the left side, takes it at center. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. Puck sent over to Richie. Here they are on the attack. Grabs the puck in the slot. Boston's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Strong defensive effort. And now it's grabbed by Simon. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Along the half wall with the puck. Right in front of the net. Wow. He scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that. And now they have a brand new game to play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Johnson, and the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. And now he tries to get it across to Tanov. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck over to Krizlik. Boston's looking to break out. Hangs onto the puck. Directs it on over to DeBrusque. Just wide of the net. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Puck lands right back onto the blade. And now he moves it to Aston Reese. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Reads it perfectly. Look out, here's a chance. Tanev's been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. Quick pass to Tanev. You'll need more than that to beat him. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Hammers the shot, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Through center along the wing. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Right on the doorstep. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Shiri. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Manages to hang on. Back on a stick now. Slides the puck down low. Moves it quickly over to Zucker. Now that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Wholesale changes made here as they reset on the power play. There's the physical side. Moves it to Nordstrom. All alone. And that's broken up. The defender got beat once and then saved himself and his partner later on with a good play. Moore's teammates kill off the penalty. Really good pressure by the penalty killers there to keep this game tied. 
They tie up the power play in pretty nice fashion there. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. More than half the period has expired. We are all tied up in this one. Bergeron's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Dished on over to Chara. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. The Bruins have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Marchand. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Pass to Zucker. Gets it over to Shiri. Puck picked up by Shiri. Feeds the puck over to Pasternak. Gloves are off. We got a challenge. Marchand's not so sure about the weight class here. He says no thanks. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Puck scooped up by Malkin. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Pass right in front. Moves the puck down low. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Malkin. And now he angles it across to Shiri. Moves the puck along the half wall. Big save. Handles the puck. Taken by Shiri. Schultz setting up against the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Warning is the call. These are always ones that look a little dangerous in my eyes here, Ray. I don't know why the player can't quite stop when you see the player's numbers right in front of you. Don't hit them. Point shot! Denies him with the save! Time of the penalty. 18 minutes, 13 seconds. Here in the dying moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Wrist one, scores! And he puts his team in front! James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. Pittsburgh's got some breathing room here late in the second as they take a one-goal lead. I'd get my best players back on the ice, and while you've got your opponent backed up a little bit, try and get another one. Puck grab by Grislyk. Quick feed to DeBrusque. Right in front, and that's picked off in front. DeBrusque's got it from the back of the cage, and he's able to handle that one. Moves it on over to Zucker. It's a two-on-one. Shot with the stop. And now it's grabbed by Grislyk. Great stick work with the steal. Pittsburgh's turned this game into a really tight affair because nobody can move the puck very freely with good stick positioning to intercept pucks. Horn Sounds bringing the second period to an end. As both teams head to the rooms, it's a 3-2 hockey game. He's dropping $50 gift certificates. Keep your eyes to the sky for tonight's big prize. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Oh, he ripped that right after the whistle. What's he thinking? We're still in the early stages of this period. The Penguins are looking to build on this one goal lead. Crosby's won it. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Wow, completely ignored the whistle there. Pittsburgh's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Here's a shot and that clangs off the iron. The Bruins can't believe their bad luck. A really good shot hits the goalpost and they can't close the gap. Centering pass. Marchand's got it deep in the offensive end. Quick pass to Bergeron. Puck picked up by Pasternak. Can't connect. Puck scooped up by Dumoulin. And we've got a two-on-one. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Pittsburgh's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. 
While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Slides the puck near the front of the net and makes the save. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. That's a good heads-up play at center ice. Passes over to Richie. Taken by Malkin. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ginsel. Rocked on the play. That's turned aside for the blocker. The Penguins have the puck now. Slides the puck down low. And that one's broken up. Passes it to Richie. They've got numbers. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Boston's got possession here in the offensive zone. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Denies him again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Schultz plays it now. And now he passes up to Hornquist. Boston's got the puck. Here they come on the attack. Jabs the puck away. Gets the puck back onto a stick. And now it's over to Krizlik. That He's got a little jump. He's in. All alone. Great save. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And that one's picked off. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. And that's taken by the defense. Carries it across the line. Slides it over with pace to Rust. Here's the pass. Whoa. And that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They have done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. Pittsburgh's got the edge in the shot department. A big reason why they lead here in this third period. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Puck grabbed by Pedersen. And now he tries to get it across to Crosby. Tries to get the puck to Pasternak. And now it's grabbed by McAvoy. Feeds it to McAvoy. Moves the puck over to Chara. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. He's trying to do too much with the puck there. They're already ahead. This is a time for safety. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Past the midway mark in this period. Pittsburgh's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Latang's taking it from his own end. Moves it quickly over to Aston Reese. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Nordstrom's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there that didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, done. Pittsburgh's got possession while undermanned. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. Way too much congestion blocks that. Puck picked up by Coyle. Quick feed down low. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to Richie. Pokes it away in his own end. The Bruins take possession here in the open ice. Centered out in front, and they can convert to the play. Keeps hold of the puck. Latang has got it in the defensive end. The Bruins fail to capitalize on the power play. Uh, some disappointment on the bench after that power play. Everybody in the building knows the importance of the moment, and they weren't able to get it done. Right in the low slot. Comes up on the blocker save. And that's off the iron. 
Boston's luck continues to be bad. A shot off the post, and they still trail. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Too much congestion in front. And now he moves it to Tanev. Big time defensive play. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. Crosby's getting called for tripping. Reaching out for the puck. I guess it's a little bit of a bad play. You've got to realize the guy's getting away. Let him go before you take the penalty. The official's making him pay for it. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. McCann's one possession. Here's a short pass to Rust. Takes the feed. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Slides the puck over. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Rust's got it against the boards. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Pedersen's going to the box for tripping. Two-man advantage coming up here. The biggest problem a five-on-three power play has is that everybody realizes what a great advantage it is. So everybody stands there waiting to shoot the puck. Nothing happens when the puck moves slowly. Denied by the goaltender. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. And now he angles it across to McCann. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Quick feed to McCann. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Bergeron. Excellent stick work on the play. Slides the puck over to Tanev. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Slides it quickly to Richie. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Puck scooped up by Pasternak. Decides to go to the backhand. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Taken along the wall by Aston Reese. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McCann. Taken down and the officials caught it. There goes the whistle. No extra attacker able to get there in time. Pasternak's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Reaches in with his stick and gets nabbed for the trip. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Swing and a miss. Picked up along the wall by Rust. Stopped by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Under pressure, chance to get it out. Always a killer if he doesn't get this puck out. Sends it across. Hortvist swooping in on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Rust. Taken by Chara. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Penguins aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. Bergeron's won the draw here in the open ice. Great defensive effort with the stick. Moves it to Zucker. Over the line they come. From the slot, denies him in front. Right out in front, and he hangs on just as time runs out. And we are all over with this one. They get the win as a result of some good power play work, but man, James, they had a...
it's a, it's a, it's a typical where the bass is the singer, the guitarist, and the drummer find they're in love with each other. It's the story of the kid who clearly won't know what to say when the love of his life starts to calmly walk away. And it's the story of the dad who decides to chase his dream. He quits his job, he falls apart, and he loses everything. And it's the story of the kid who just wants to make a record, loves and crafts it, but nobody ever, ever cares about it. Whoa. Staying the same or worsening So what's the point of finding calm When calm to me is unsettling Settle down, little kid Your bones are shaking in your skin Go and try and take a breath Oh, nothing more, nothing more Typical story of a king who had it all Except for citizens who didn't want his head up on a wall It's the typical story Being in love with such a giant piece of It's the story of the queen Who couldn't really need much just a place to be alone and you don't really see much i think that i'm invisible my mirror shows another guy a guy doesn't do he just sits and is miserable everybody's gotta live a life that they didn't ask for why would he put me here just to die